Hi, this is Brad Constantine, and this is a podcast recording of the Old Testament. Although this is not an official recording of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, every effort's been made to be as doctrinally accurate as possible. I'll be using for the text the Joseph Smith translation of the Old Testament, along with many commentaries from general authorities of the Church, BYU professors, Bible scholars, and others. This format will be very detailed, and so if you want a deep analysis of the Old Testament, you come to the right place. Thanks for your attendance. And welcome back to the Old Testament podcast. This will be for Joshua chapter 3. And Joshua rose early in the morning, and they removed from Shittim and came to Jordan, he and all the children of Israel, and lodged there before they passed over. And it came to pass after three days that the officers went through the host. And they commanded the people, saying, When ye see the ark of the covenant of the Lord your God, and the priests, the Levites, bearing it, then ye shall remove from your place and go after it. Yet there shall be a space between you and it, about two hundred cubits by measure. Come not near unto it, that ye may know the way by which ye must go. For ye have not passed this way heretofore. And Joshua said unto the people, Sanctify yourselves, or make yourselves clean, holy by ritual washings and proper behavior. For tomorrow the Lord will do wonders among you. And Joshua spake unto the priests, saying, Take up the Ark of the Covenant and pass over before the people. And they took up the Ark of the Covenant and went before the people. So this is symbolic now of entering the celestial kingdom. And the Lord said unto Joshua, This day will I begin to begin to multiply will, will I begin to magnify thee in the sight of all Israel, that they may know that, as I was with Moses, so will I be with thee. And thou shalt command the priests that bear the Ark of the Covenant, saying, When ye are come to the brink of the water of Jordan, ye shall stand still in Jordan. These events occur in the spring, probably the month of March, and the Jordan was most likely flooded. And Joshua said unto the children of Israel, Come thither, or come hither, and hear the words of the Lord your God. And Joshua said, Hereby ye shall know that the living God is among you, and that he will, and that he will without fail drive out from before you the Canaanites and the Hittites and the Hivites and the Perizzites and the Girgazites and the Amorites and the Jebusites. Remember that this is also, as mentioned in the Book of Mormon, this is called the place of, the place is known as Bathabara, and that means um, the place of the crossing. That's where Jesus was baptized. So this place that they're going to be crossing the river is probably the same location where John the Baptist was baptizing and baptized Jesus. Verse 11, Behold, the ark of the covenant of the Lord of all the earth passeth passeth over before you into Jordan. Now therefore take you twelve men out of the tribes of Israel, out of, one, out of every tribe of man. And it shall come to pass, as soon as the soles of the feet of the priests that bear the ark of the Lord, the Lord of all the earth, shall rest in the waters of Jordan, that the waters of Jordan shall be cut off from the waters that come down from above, and they shall stand up upon an heap. In other words, the water will be parted. And it came to pass when the people removed from their tents to pass over the Jordan and the priests bearing the Ark of the Covenant before the, before the people. And as they bear that, as they bear the Ark, were, as they that bear the Ark were come in unto Jordan and the feet of the priests that bear the Ark were dipped in the brim of the water for Jordan overfloweth all his banks all at the, all the time of harvest, that the waters which came down from above up the river stood or stopped and rose up upon an heap very far from the city Adam, that is beside Zaratan, and those that came down toward the sea of the plain, even the salt sea, the dead sea, failed and were cut off, and the people passed over right against Jordan, or right across Jericho. And the priests that bear the ark of the covenant of the Lord stood firm on dry ground in the midst of Jordan, and all the Israelites passed over on dry ground until all the people were passed clean over Jordan. As soon as the priest's feet touch the river, the waters will stop. They had to exercise faith before the blessing was given. It became dry ground. Israel passed over the river Jordan on the first day of Passover, and that was symbolic of being baptized. That's the end of chapter 3, and we'll see you next episode. Bye.